Hey everyone, it's Brandy and welcome back to my channel, Brandy Janae's Bookshelf. It is the start of a new month, so that means it's time for another round of Deck of TBR. <music> So if you haven't seen my past two TBRs, I decided that this year I wanted to try out a TBR game and I decided to go with Deck of TBR. I think each month I decided that I'm going to do six pulls and I think last month I ended up picking seven. However, reading for last month did not go how I was expecting it to at all. Honestly, I think I might have been kind of in a reading slump. Going into February, I had a super ambitious TBR. I think by the end of the month, I only finished like 12 or 13 books or something like that so not even close to what i was trying to read and i think a lot of those ended up being rereads and, and i will get into how that's going to affect this month's tbr so i'm going to start off talking about all of the books that i had picked out for deck of tbr so the first pull that i had was for one of my tbr jars and i ended up landing on book series and for that one i picked out scythe by neil schusterman however I didn't get to this one so that's already one book down and I'm just going to go through all the books first and then get into what I'm going to do for punishment. The next pull that I had I think was another TBR jar pick and it was to pick a book from a subscription box and that was These Violin Delights by Chloe Gong. This is another one I didn't even start. So the next prompt that I had was Last Acquired and for that one I was going with Wings of Ebony by JL. So I did technically start this one. I actually technically started it twice I believe but I only read the first chapter. Although I did technically start this one I'm, on, I'm not going to count it as being started because I've only read one chapter and not made like a decent amount of progress so I'm counting this as another one that I didn't get read at all so that's three books <laughs> that I picked out and didn't get read. Next prompt was reading a new to me author and for that one I was going with Amari and the Night Brothers by B.B. Austin. I believe this is a debut so not getting into that one again. So I did technically start this one. I didn't get very far. I am only I only read three chapters which is 23 pages. It's more than a chapter so I'm going to count it as started and I am planning on continuing on this book in March. Obviously I'm already in the middle of it so or I've already got a, a, a nice amount read so I'm going to be continuing this one so I'm counting it as started enough to count towards the challenge. The next prompt that I had was to read a book that had five or more words in the title and I had two different options for that one but the one that I did end up picking up was A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. This is another one that I got a decent amount into so I got five chapters into this one so that's page 69. So this is another one that I am counting as completed the challenge um, because I will be continuing on with it. I just ran out of time obviously for the month. The next prompt which should have been the last one was to read a manga and I actually ended up just pulling from my TBR jar and I got Harem Marriage Volume 1 by Nan. This is the only one that I fully completed. And then the final prompt that I had was to read a book with stars on the cover and for that one I picked out Not the Girl You Marry by Andy J. Christopher which also did not get through this one either. That is four books that I had on my official TBR for Deck of TBR that I did not get to. So um, because of these four books that I'm counting as not finished or not counting towards completing anything, I decided because I don't have any of my intimidating reads set up so far, um, I think everything that I have here that I can read because it's not a sequel, I don't count as intimidating so because I don't have any of those I decided this month and the months moving forward for any prompt that I haven't read I will be adding a pull to you know the amount of cards that I pull for my TBR for the month. So this month I'm going to be doing a total of 10 pulls. The reason I decided to do this is because it obviously gives me an incentive to read 
the books that I'm picking out for my TBR. I have this tendency to just pick out books and a lot of the times not read them um, because I'm such a mood reader but I know that I'm really excited for them. So I'm doing this. I'm going to test it out this month. I think it might come a point where I cap it because I don't want to be picking out too many books to the point where you know I'm choosing an entire month's TBR off of my deck of TBR even though that's not a problem but I know how much of a mood reader I am and I don't want to completely take over my month's reading by this which is so random. That will obviously give me another chance to pull multiples since I haven't had any duplicates. Um, I will go over those quickly. If I pull three of any number then I have to add another pull. And I do keep track of them as I'm going through the game. And if I pull the exact same card two times in one game, that will be an automatic pull again. I know that besides the deck of TBR, I do have other books that I also want to read this month. So we're just going to play or I'm just going to play, see how it goes. And then maybe I can fit in the books that I want slash need to read <laughs> throughout the month. Okay, so I have my card. So I'm going to do a quick shuffle and we're going to start off. Because as of right now, like I mentioned, we're starting off with 10 pulls. Okay, so first pull for today is a Five of Hearts. And the prompt for Five of Hearts is Romance. I honestly couldn't decide and I'm going to give myself a little leeway and decide if I want to switch out what romance I want to read for, you know, throughout the month. I will let myself do that. But as of right now, I'm going to go with You Had Me at Ola by Alexis. Daria and to replace romance I'm going to be putting science fiction on the board and the next pick that I have is that queen of diamonds okay so that's the face card so we're going to be doing one of the TBR jars um I pulled up a dice roller on uh google and I'm just going to go it actually automatically rolled as soon as I opened up and I got two number two is actually newly acquired I'm gonna shake it up give everything a fair chance I just picked out one right on top and let's see what it is okay so I have fire in his actually let me just get the book because you probably can't see the paper so the one that I ended up picking out is fire in his fingertips volume 2 by Kawano Tanishi okay so I'm gonna just put that back in the middle and we're gonna do another shuffle really quick next pull is that that looks like another number oh okay so pull number three is five of diamonds if you couldn't see that five of diamonds on my board was actually to buy a book for my wish list and read it but if you guys didn't catch that that was actually my second five so if I end up getting another five during this round of deck of CBR I will end up having to pull or add an extra pull to my list so let me make a few notes decide which book I'm going to be picking up that took a little bit longer than I was hoping it would but the book that I decided to go with for that prompt was Blood Air by Alona Andrews which is the first book in a spin-off series uh, from the Kate Daniel series I actually just went ahead and, and ordered it it'll be here it said between March 3rd and March 7th so the prompt that I'm replacing the last one with is a booktuber's favorite from 2020 next pick is is that another face card it is we got king of clubs another face card means another uh tbr jar pick and i will let you guys see the roll this time if you care about that oh did i click it there we go hopefully you can see that uh we got five five is my backlist title jar mug whatever you want to call it i actually have this <laughs> this Bucky's one we got one let's see what it is I don't want to read that so I just cheated a little bit because I picked out one but it's like a summer book and I really don't want to read that so <laughs> I probably won't make this a roll but I put it back in there I didn't like take it out but I put it back in here I picked out another one and I got Slay which I actually read last month okay I, I, I don't really want to read this one either but I'll go with it and um, I don't know why I keep trying to show you guys because you can't see that the next one that I picked out was Saifu by Yehudi Mercado and um, like I said I'm, I'm not really in the mood to read this one either but it is a comic and it is short so I'm just gonna 
I'm just gonna add this to my list. It's short. Um, it shouldn't take me that long to get through this one at all. All right, let's see. Next card is, is that Four of Hearts. So Four of Hearts is a YA fantasy. I feel like I'm still trying to figure out. So if I keep adding in rules each month, I do apologize for that. So I'm not gonna count anything that I'm in the middle of that I'm carrying over. Those are just gonna be additional books for me to read. So, you know, it's making it a little bit harder on myself, but I feel like that'll give it give me the opportunity to have different types of books or more books on my TBR for the month that I'm interested in. For YA fantasy as of right now, I'm going with The River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. In order to replace YA fantasy, I have Sprayed Edges. And then next is Two of Spades. And Two of Spades is highest rated on Goodreads okay so that took a little bit longer than i was expecting it to because i forgot that i hadn't added in the books that i picked up in february and i put everything in with the exception of um, a manga series that i have technically already read i was kind of shocked about what ended up uh, being at the top of the list because i honestly thought it was going to be one of my new releases that I want to read but it actually wasn't so just to have proof here is all of the books and this is just sorted by all of the physical books that are on my TBR and this is only the physical books that I currently have with me. The book that is the highest rated on my physical TBR at the moment is Sweat and Soap Volume 5 by Kintetsu Yamada. I was actually kind of waiting to read this until the next volume comes out because I do like reading multiple of these at a time but once again deck of TBR has spoken so I will be reading this as my highest rated book on my physical TBR and a prompt to replace highest rated on Guri's is plant of any kind on the cover so next pull is oh no that's a four of hearts and if you guys remember at the beginning when I was going over what will add an extra pull is if I get the duplicate of any of one card and for my fifth pull I actually got four of hearts so that means we're instead of having 10 pulls we're gonna have 11 as of right now four of hearts is a book with sprayed edges I picked out what I believe are the only three books that I currently have with me that I have sprayed edges. I think for now I'm just going to go with Star Daughter. And the reason I'm going to go with this one is because I did actually pick this out of my TBR jar last month when I was doing a subscription box. But I knew that this book was so long and I knew for sure that I was not going to get to it. So I decided to go with something else. So I think I'm just going to go go with this one because I should have been reading it last month. Next is... Is that a face card? We have Ace of Club. Another dice roller. I'm just gonna click it and you can't see anything. Okay, so I was trying to cheat because I really didn't want to go back to the same prompt, but I got four twice in a row. So four on my, in my TBR jar is a novel series. And I think I still only have two in here. I only have two in here and I did just double check the um the other prompt and i don't have the first book for that series with me so we're gonna go back to one of the books that was on my tbr from last month that i didn't get to i must really be supposed to be reading this book right now because it keeps popping up anyway that is scythe by neil schusterman um i'm excited about reading this but i kind of didn't want to add it onto my tbr because i don't know i don't feel like i would be in the mood for this right now but it's on my TBR so I will be attempting to read it again. Alright next we have what is that Seven of Diamonds and Seven of Diamond on the board is Free Choice. I am so excited about that one. I am really excited for this and I really want to read it for the month so I'm going to go with A Court of Silver Flames by Tara J Maas. So next is that Two of Hearts. So Two of Hearts is reading a book by a male author the easiest way out that i can think of as of right now is pepper page saves the universe by landry landry q walker and then i think we're on to the last pull for this round okay last one is are you kidding me 
Th this is trying to get me messed up. So this is another four of hearts. That means I have to add another pull onto this because that's actually my third four of hearts this round. We're gonna have 12 for this. Let's see, four of hearts is Otis book addict to, to Goodreads. I decided that I'm going to actually move this over for the Otis book that I've added to my Goodreads one read shelf. I'm going to swap things out. So for my free choice, um, instead of the one that I previously picked, I'm actually going to change it over to The Queen's Assassin by Melissa De La Cruz. And then switching over for my oldest book added to Goodreads, I'm going to put A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass. Hopefully last pull is, is that three? Three of Clubs. Three of Clubs is to read a book that's been on my TBR two plus years. I did finally decide to go with Pride by Ibiza Boy. Okay, so that turned out kind of wild, like way crazier than I thought it was gonna end up being. But, uh, Lord. Here is all of the books that ended up on my deck of TBR stack for March. Of course, I did also mention that I am currently in the middle of reading a few books. So I have Amari and the Night Brothers by B.B. Austin. A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. As well as Wings of Ebony by J.L. Which I will also be continuing on with in March as well. So those will be added to my TBR. That is what my TBR is looking like at the moment. As I mentioned a lot of the times I am a mood reader. So I will most likely be adding other books in here as well. But I am really going to try my hardest to stick to what I currently have and read everything before I stray too far. That's all I have <laughs> for this video. I say that's all I have like it's not a whole lot but yeah that's everything that I think I needed to talk about in this video let me know down in the comments what are some of the books you're planning on reading throughout the month um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more from me make sure you subscribe thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again in the next one bye